This morning is an unexpected morning of photography. I hadn't actually planned to come out. Uh, I just happened to wake up and thought, well, I've got time to get down onto the local beach and just see what grabs me to shoot. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, I've actually already got a shot set up that I'll talk you through in a second, and then we'll see what happens as the morning goes on. Hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Good morning everyone. So I'm actually just down on the local beach. I'm actually standing on one of the, uh, the stone breakwaters on the local beach. I happened to wake up this morning. And I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get up and go out. I don't know if there's gonna be anything worth shooting, but I'll just give it a go. So we've actually got a dredger working the area at the moment. It's clearing uh, sand from the entrance to the harbour mouth. And it's just a little bit out to sea at the moment. And I've decided to try and get a shot of it with you know, sort of a fairly dark scene, just a little bit of pre-dawn glow in the sky. But because the dredger is moving, I'm gonna to have to uh, probably go for a uh, fairly wide aperture, probably as wide as I can get on my telephoto lens, and probably also bump the ISO up. So uh, I might have a little bit of noise to deal with, but it might be a little bit of a different shot anyway. don't think those shots of the dredger worked even bumping the ISO up uh, and going for the widest aperture available on this lens I couldn't really get a fast enough exposure time to get all the blur out I think there's one there that might have worked it's getting a bit brighter now of course the problem will be at some point they'll turn the uh, the working lights off and then it won't look as interesting I might have another go at it in a minute but first, I thought I'd just have a quick shot of the tower, uh, which is, I don't know if you can see it, over there in the background with the hills behind it. And I've had to move the tripod down a little bit because there's a bit of a sea breeze coming in. And that was just enough uh, to upset the exposure, to put a little bit of blur in. But just moving the tripod down, basically, you know, one leg section, makes no difference to the composition, but it's letting me get the shot. It's got a bit brighter and there's actually a really nice sky over the top of where that dredger is. So I've decided to have another go at it. And because it's got brighter, I've been able to shoot a faster exposure time. And they've still got the working lights on, so hopefully that should still look quite interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, it might just be for something a little bit different. Well, I think this is gonna work better than the earlier shot.
it's quite a, a pleasant sort of pinkish blush in the sort of fine clouds up in the sky beach coming in from the bottom right and around I've actually got the monument sticking up in the sky there's buildings behind it so it's not isolated properly but it still looks okay uh, way off in the distance because it's wide angle there's the the distant mountains and then the sky and it's going to be a case of taking a few shots just to try and get a nice pattern of water coming up on the beach So I've just popped on a six stop ND filter, taking my aperture to f6.3 and my ISO to 200. Because I want a slightly longer exposure, just like half a second. And uh, I've only got a six stop filter with me. I suppose I could have put a polarizer on, but I'm a bit concerned about the polarizing effect on the sky. So uh, we'll play around with this, and as it gets a little bit brighter, maybe we'll get an image. Okay, the sun's just poking up above that band of low cloud across the horizon there. Putting some interesting little light on the scene. Um, I've been tweaking my exposure and ISO to keep to around sort of 0.4 seconds for the waves. And just continuing to take the occasional shot as I think I'm getting a nice little pattern. The waves are quite small, but they're just washing up this sloping bit of beach quite nicely. Now the sun's come up, I'm deciding to take another telephoto shot. What I've got is, there's a breakwater which crosses the scene, which is not ideal, but I can't do anything much about it. Then over in the background, we've got the hills and the mountain. There's kind of a glow in the sky and the dredger is setting just off to one side. Just adds that little something extra in there. Okay, that's it. Uh, the sun's come quite high now and the light's getting quite harsh and uh, I'm feeling the need for coffee and breakfast. I wasn't planning on coming out this morning. Just happened to wake up early and thought, yeah, why not, let's get out. So I did. Five minutes from home on the local beach and I think it was worth it. Maybe some uh, slightly different images. The dredger was uh, actually a bit of a frustration when I first got here because I thought it was going to be in the way, but it may have made for an interesting subject. I guess uh, you'll already have seen if that worked out or not. Anyway, I've enjoyed myself. I hope you've enjoyed coming along as well. If you've enjoyed this, 
you know the routine. Likes, shares and comments are really, really appreciated. They do help with the channel. And uh, of course, if you're new here and you've enjoyed this and you want to see what else is coming up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.